everyone. Welcome to the final green and white breakdown. I'm your host, Ashley Gnetti, and I'm here with JetsInsider.com analyst Evan Slavitt. Who would have thought the Jets could be going for a 500 record at this point in the season if you were to rewind until August? Because people were saying they're at the bottom of the power poles. You know, people were saying that they would have four wins at best. But now they're 7-8 and eight facing the Dolphins on the final Week 17 game. Do you see them pulling out a win here? Yeah, you know, obviously they've struggled on the road so far this season. Only one win uh, so far. They, but they had that, you know, that three-game slide after the bye week. Mm -hmm. Since then, they've really kind of been on the upswing. Mm -hmm. A lot of the young players that had question marks, their performance has been better. Even that Panthers loss that they had, you know, they, they performed better than I think you could have expected them going into it. Mm -hmm. I think this week, you know, as much as they got embarrassed by the Dolphins last time, I don't think that was indicative of the two teams' performances. I think the Jets were a much better team than they showed. And even going on the road, I think they have a chance to pull this one out. But the Dolphins, they're not out of playoff contention. They need the win and a little bit of help. Don't you feel like it's kind of like they're going to be trying their very, very hardest? Yeah, well, like, uh, like Rex said today, the Jets know they're going to get the Dolphins' best shot. Like you said, they're fighting for a playoff spot. That's more than the Jets are fighting for. But at the same time, you know, it doesn't seem like the Jets are playing for nothing. I think mm -hmm. they want to get to 500. They want to be able to prove that Rex is the head coach. You know, it's, it's amazing how he might be on the hot seat, but all the players want him back. You know, fans want him mm -hmm. back. The media want him back. I think having that to play for, having pride to play for, even like with so many young guys, so many guys with question marks, them wanting to prove themselves too. I think the Jets do have a lot to play for this week. All right. Now, this is kind of sad. It's your final fantasy player, Evan. Who is it? Uh, well, for my final fantasy player, I'm going to hope I'm right. I'm going to pick uh, Chris Ivory. The last time these two teams played, we mentioned, you know, bad 23-3 to loss. Even then, Ivory had a strong performance, averaging over five yards per carry. I think with they're going to have a better passing game. Jeremy Curley's back in the lineup. I think Chris Ivory's going to have, you know, a similar performance, just uh, more carries for more yards. All right. Okay, so it seems like you think the Jets are going to win this. What do you, what's the score? Yeah, I think I'd be a, a bad Jets insider analyst <laughs> if I picked against them in my final video. I think the Jets are going to win this one 27-21. to 21. You know, like I said, they're up on the upswing. Even against the Panthers, they look good. I don't think, you know, this Dolphins team struggled against that Bills team. They've had some problems with their offensive line. I think the game, talent-wise, was closer or back at MetLife between these two. Uh, then the score indicates, and now that Geno Smith and that passing game is kind of in rhythm again, I think they're going to have enough to get a win. All right. Well, thank you, Evan, and thank everyone at home for watching these videos all season long. Before the game, make sure to listen to Jets Insider Radio. I'm Ashley Akinetti. And I'm Evan Slavin. See you next season.